of Namaste, recording to the cloud. I like the cloud, it's good. So, we are continuing today with our Hara practice, our yogic breathing, but I'm going to add on today. The past two days have been ramping up the core work. Um, Robin, I'll have to send you the core work if you like it. Uh, Robin, Friday is going to be a doozy, so I'll send you a copy. Friday is going to be like ridiculous core, okay? Like, mm-hmm, yeah. But we're working with the core, and it's more about tone, not tension. That's the key word. As you work into our hour, we find our centre. Why are we finding our centre? Because if we get centred, we can weather the storm around us and be our own peace. And that's a pretty cool thing to do, isn't it? We act less to external influences, people, words, media, people who don't do washing up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. People, you know, external stresses to brush the dog. Yeah. Okay. So today's class is a mellow as a cello. However, the big one, and this is the toughest yoga you will do is concentration. It's known as Samadhi, is the effort of concentration on Patanjali's um, sutras, and it's number seven, I believe, someone can correct me later on. It's concentration, Samadhi, it's what we get before enlightenment. It's not being distracted, it's being present and centered. So that's our aim today. So just to remind you of our how of breathing, we're going to go into relaxation to start, but this how of breathing practice taken from more Japanese um, culture, Chinese culture, often used in Reiki, I found out. Any Reiki masters in the house? Love what you do. So remember our how of breath demonstration Woo. is we let the belly round on the inhale, and as we exhale, we draw in, but we don't suck in, okay? So we're gonna to go to laying down on the mat. Chrissy's here, just let somebody else in. Hi, Chrissy. We're gonna to go to laying down on the mat. If you're a little bit cold where you are right now, grab a blanket, put it over your midriff. If you're not, don't worry about it. Take some clothes off, I won't tell anyone. We're gonna work on the breathing and start building up with movement in coordination with breath. So, lay yourself down on the mat. Take that insistent moment just to settle. A half close of the eyes and let the hands just rest on the belly. So we're going to work through three types of breathing so we can feel the difference. By doing the opposite of something, you can often find to know what you don't want, you can find what you do want. Okay? So we're going to inhale and exhale just naturally for three rounds of breath. Let it be normal, let it be natural. Inhaling, exhaling, arriving, here we are on the mat. Inhale, gods and goddesses. I would like you to keep the hands firmed onto the belly. And I would like you to breathe to the top of the chest, known as a thoracic breathing. To do this, I would like you to tilt your pelvis so the arch of the spine is no more. I would like you to bring the legs together and take a little squeeze of the thighs. And when you squeeze the thighs together, the pelvic floor, the abdominal wall, feet are firmed into the earth, so everything below the navel is slightly activated. Then I'd like us to breathe to the top of the chest. Big hoofing breaths, as I call them. Inhale. Fill the ribs. Exhale strongly. Inhale through the nose. Keep squeezing the legs, exhale. Three more, inhale. 
block, firing up the engine. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Go strong. Inhale. Exhale. And then rest and soften. So metaphorically, I see this is using up our battery power, using up our prana, our life force, our chi. Because when you stop, you go into relax. You go, oh. So that's our thoracic breath, often used in Ashtanga yoga and your power yogas. Okay, let's get some more detail in here. We're going to go into belly breath, abdominal breath. We all know this one. So hands sit on the rounded belly. Take the feet hip distance apart and then extend the legs along the mat. Just lay nice and flat. You'll create a natural arch because the spine has its wonderful curves. Let the toes roll out gently and rub the shoulder blades onto the mat. Squish them in as if you're trying to crush something underneath them like peppercorns. Okay. Hands rest on the belly. First finger and thumb connect and allow the thumb to just sit over the navel. And when you've got the hands in this diamond shape, I want you to think the center of the diamond shape. That's approximately where your hara center is. However, for this, for our abdominal breath, we're gonna inhale, fill the belly fully, let it round super maximum. Exhale. You can gently press the hands into the, the tummy and the navel goes towards the spine. Inhaling one, two, three, nice and smooth. Exhale, navel falls towards the spine. Inhaling one, two, three. Exhale, let the belly completely empty. Two more like so. As you inhale, you'll feel the first thing with thumb separate. And as you exhale, they'll just reconnect to make a sort of little electrical circuit. Last one. Big, full, rounded belly. Exhale, let the air out of the balloon of the belly. Good. Okay. Now we're going for our howl breath which I think is a combination of the two, but more subtle. So bend the knees once more. Take a slight tuck of the hips to the pubic bones, just gently towards you. Hands rest on the belly again with the thumb on the navel and the fingertips should be aiming towards the pubic bone. Good. We're gonna take the full inhale. And as we exhale, go all the way down to the base of the belly, but press the feet a little into the floor, just a little. That's my detox tummy gurgling. <laughs> Inhale, fill the belly. And smoothly, press the feet into the mat, just at the end. And you feel just above the pubic bone, contract a little. Inhale. As you go into the exhale, at the end, just press the feet into the mat and you just feel the very base of you. Inhale. Very base of the belly. It's subtle, but it's there. Exhale. So we're leaving the belly soft, but feeling it come into the base of you. Good. We'll do this in another way. Bring the knees in towards the chest. Rock yourself all the way up to seated. Maybe cross the legs over. We'll meet in all fours. I'm going to swang myself around. Okay. So this one makes it a little bit easier. We're going to let the belly hang. And what I ask you is you keep your, your samadhi, your concentration. Because this isn't easy. This has got to be really focused. It to work. If your mind wanders off, it will leave you. So let the spine arch as if you're balancing 
possibly a small lime on the back rather than our traditional mango situation. Okay. Inhale, fill the belly. As you exhale, leave the belly rounded but breathe to the bottom of your breath. There's your power. Inhale. Exhale all the way to the very last whisper of breath. Inhale. Exhale, keep the belly round and keep it hanging all the way to the bottom of the breath, bottom of the breath, bottom of the breath, all the way down. Hold. And inhale again. Last one, all the way down to the bottom of the breath. And right at the bottom of the breath, you'll find this little bit of power, and that's your Hara center. The very center of you. Good. I like it. Okay. I'm going to meet you back on your back. So swizzle yourself around once more. Swizzling there. Soles of the feet on the mat. So that's the feeling we're going for, okay? Just gonna let, oh, we've got a late arriver in the room. Late arriver, come on in. Late arriver, make sure your microphone is off ski and we'll be happy ski. Good, 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 good. Hold on, there's that one there. Just checking. Oh good, right, one of backs, lovely. I'm me, I'm there, I'm there, I'm there. Okay, soles of the feet hip distance apart. We're going to build up nice and subtle and slow and keep a nice rhythm going. If you wish, you can grab the edges of your mat for stability. If you want to super focus the core, turn the palms up and let the fingertips relax. If you start to create tension, you'll feel it in your fingers because we're looking for, let me hear you say it, I'm pretending I can hear you, we're looking for total nut tension. Okay, feet in the mat. Arch your spine and fill the belly. Exhale, press the hips off the mat and bring them in line with your sort of knees so you can look, look up the body. Good. Inhale, arch the spine and just tap the buttocks on the mat. Good. Exhale, lift up and press the pubic bone to the sky. We're in motion. We're in motion. Now. Good, good. Inhale, arch. Tip the buttocks to the mat. Check it with your fingertips, peoples. Yeah? And squeeze the hips up. All the fingers stay relaxed. Good. Inhale, round the belly. Tip the buttocks to the mat. Total concentration. And lift the hips up to the sky. Hold steady here. Relax the fingers. Imagine there's a little magnet between the legs and draw the inner thighs and knees slightly towards one another. Good. Now heel, toes. Shut the fuck up! Are the fingers relaxed? Checking in with the fingers. Squeeze the inner thighs together. You're going to feel a lot of work happening there. And then roll the spine down to the mat. Very, very subtle. Bring the knees in towards the chest. Give a little massage of the knees, which is always nice. Okay. We're going to start in a bit more motion here. Extend your right leg up to the sky. A little flex in the hamstrings. Take the fingers behind the left knee. Okay, and then we're going to swing ourselves up to seated by wellying the right leg up. We're going to swing up. One leg is bent. Nice. What are you fucking And then we're going to swing back down. Over to you. Swing and sway your body. Okay. And what I'd like to do is, as we play with this modality, I like the word modality, I want to see if you can come up and balance without letting either of your tits hit the floor, okay? This is the feeling of working in to that lower belly stress, okay? It's a playful way of feeling that how. Well, lost it on that one. Hey, okay. bitch. And then... All the way back down, knees in towards the chest. Good. We get a spinal massage as well, because we can't get massages right now. Hands behind the right knee. Left leg. Nigger. Raise the right to the sky. Okay. Hazel, I'm when sorry, ready, but let's keep an eye on your Start your manoeuvres. First one, little touchdown. Hazel. 
Okay, so we've got an come up. We've got a guy into the balance. And if you focus on your centre point, your hammer. Hazel. 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 Concentration, your samadhi. Your coochie Just above the pubic bone. Hazel. Into the centre of you. Inch or so below the navel. And roll down knees in towards the chest. Fabulous work. Take the arms out into cactus arms, pleasey, please. Let the fingers relax. Nice feeling. I think you might have lost me. Have you lost me? You've lost me, Hayes. haven't you? Hazel. Hazel's trying Boxes to make a phone interloper. call. Swearing. Can you all hear me okay, everybody? No. Hazel, no sound. We've got, we've got people swearing Let on here. Let me check in. There we go. No, Sean, don't call. <laughs> We've got an intruder. Go. Someone's just tried to call during the class. Okay, can you hear me now? No to the hearing situation. She may have bumped me offline. This has not happened before. Let me check on in. Sorry, guys. This is a first for me. Um, let's just check. Swearing. <laughs> Definitely heard swearing. Hey, so we've got a problem. I think someone's got a problem. Just let me check, everyone. I just go down hey, so and make sure no one's microphone is No, you on. have someone swearing, some interloper, an intruder. If you need to speak to me, message me. We've, oh, we've got a rant. We've got an intruder. Oh, <laughs> how exciting. Isn't that fun, have we? Let me let me have a let me take this out. Let's see if I can hear them. Where are you recorded? How entertaining. Can you hear swearing? Anyone? Someone warn me you could get some randoms, but everything's password protected now. Just checking. Okay. Yes, blank screen, someone swearing. I do have waiting room activated, but I just let somebody in. I just don't really check. It stopped. Oh, how boring. I wanted them to be on camera so we could have a bit of a giggle with them and I, I'd have flashed them because you guys know me. I'd have given them some boobage. Brilliant. Damn, if they're gone, Shane, you missed this. Boobs. Oh, well, you know, I might, I might have even given them a little bit of, ooh, nipple. I would have, I would have. We could have had a lot of fun. We could have used the power of boobs to flash them. Don't underestimate the power of these bad boys. If Sean's out there, she could take an army out with those beautiful bad boys. And more of boobs, exactly, the power of boobs. In future, if this happens, let's make a rule between us. Yeah, if I look up and someone's giving it the boob on the camera, yeah, we all do it. Yeah, because we could overpower this person with knockers, bangers, boobs. Oh, that would it'd bring joy to my world. Anyway, back to yoga. Interloper, rubbish. We want more entertainment from you. I might even put it out there. We invite you in. If you dare, we'll blind you with boobology. Uh, no, I don't know who that one is. No. I think, I, actually, I think it might be Janet who's on um, iPad time. Not everybody comes up with their real names because they're using other people's computers and stuff like that. Those of you that do, which is why I let most people in. But hey, let's keep enjoying our yoga. It was nice to have an interlude though. Run your thoughts. Let's do a bit of changing up. Oh, uh, Sue's pointing. Point, I, don't, I can't hear pointing. Do you know who iPad is? iPhone, just check in. They're definitely still here. Good. Well done. Do some yoga if you're still here. Join in with us, person. Don't, don't, um, don't not. If you want to swear, make it good, yeah? Make it really good. Because if you're going to swear, you've got to be really good to impress me. I will outswear you, yeah? You want to bring your posse down, your crew? Take it down, take it down, I'm swearing. Right, let's get back on with our yoga. Whoever the voyeur is, ooh, yeah? I might show you my hair here later. Well, let's carry on. I'm going to put this on YouTube. This is going to be a YouTube classic. Okay, 
Let's do our yoga. They could watch if they like. Turn your cameras off if you don't like them watching you. I don't give a damn if you watch it. They pay shit. Inhale, arch the spine. Let's crack on with your yoga, okay? Exhale, we're going to walk back. I'm going to take us into a sequence now because it ruined my sequence. Into child's pose, forehead to mat. Okay, stable core sequence. Inhale into all fours. Slide the hands forward, a soup song. Exhale, lower down to the mat. Take it steady and easy. Forehead to mat. Inhale, slide the arms forward so the forearms go onto the mat. Bring the big tootsies together. Exhale, just take the navel and the thighs off the mat by looking down the body and feel the power. Inhale, look forward. You'll get to know the sequence. Exhale, forehead down to the mat, chin to chest, extend the arms by the side of you, lift the arms up towards the sky. Head is low. Okay. Hands down on the mat. Inhale, force. Back to child's pose. Inhale, take the hands up to the sky, but keep sweeping the right arm round and just touch it towards the heel. Inhale, hands back up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold, child's pose, all the way down to the mat. They're back. They're still there. I love it. I'm glad you're there. <laughs> all the way down to the mat. Lovely. Okay, we continue. Inhale, or fours. Walk forward. Exhale, lower to the mat. Good. Inhale, slide forearms forward. Look forward, sphinx pose. As we exhale, bring the inner thighs together. Look down the body. And lift off till you can look down to your knees in contact with the mat. Good. Inhale. Back to Sphinx. Look forward, shoulders back. Naked, Exhale, naked. forehead to mat. Slide the arms by the side of the body. Raise arms and right leg. Good. Hands back down. Slide the boobs. Inhale, all fours. Exhale, child's pose. Left the arm on the sway now. Okay. Inhale, both hands to the sky, a variation of this strasana. Point, left hand to the heel, have it look behind, keep the hammer in contact. Inhale, so this is our little groove, okay? Exhale, bow down to the earth. Nigger, nigger, nigger. Inhale, now some of you may want to go into a bit of a slithering motion here, into sphinx. This is going to work your core a bit more. Don't have to, it's an option. Lift the chest, inner thighs together. Good. Exhale. Press the tops of the feet into the mat. Lift as much of your body off the mat you can without causing some tension, just the tone. Lower down, body to the mat, chin to chest, forehead down, arms by the side. On an inhale, lift the arms and the left leg. Lift it on up. Hands down to the mat. Inhale or force. Exhale, rock back, child's pose. Inhale, raise the hands up. Reverse the bow. And point right finger to right heel. Little lean back. This time, inhale, look up to the sky. Maybe the hand wants to support the back of the spine, which is nice. Keep the hand in contact. Exhale, look back down to the right heel. Inhale, gather up the right arm. Fingertips to the sky. Exhale, we bow down now. All the way to the mat. Inhale or fall, so either tip the hands forward or you go through slithering. Lower down to the mat, slide the forearms, firm them in. Inhale, press heart through window of arms. I like that statement. Bring the inner thighs together. Okay, press the tops of the feet on the mat, super firm, and lift the body with an inhale. Exhale, hold. Inhale, one more. Exhale, lower down. Forehead to mat, arms by the side of the body. You know what's coming on this one, okay? Arms lift up, legs lift up, head stays on the mat. We breathe here. I want you to feel the hips on the mat. Lower back strengthener, always a winner. Hands down by the side. Inhale, fours. Exhale, walk back, child's pose, spinal release. Inhale, reverse the bow up to the sky. 
its left arm, it continues the motion in your ocean. Point the finger down towards the heel, toes can be tucked toe under. Inhale, gaze up to the right hand, soup square off hips and shoulders. Exhale, look back down to the heel. Inhale, up, reach tall to lengthen spine. Exhale, take the bow. Staying in motion because you know what the sequence is now. Inhale, we'll meet in Sphinx. I make this look extra sexy for our voyeur out there as I hump my mat. Inhale, lift the chest, Sphinx pose, shoulders back. Relax the side of the neck. And then bring the inner thighs together. Spread the fingers and inhale, lift the body off the mat. And then breathe. Inhale, fill the belly. Your little fucking nuts are going to start quaking, buddy. Your little nuts are going to be Another quaking. one. Inhale. Yeah, yeah. Exhale. <laughs> Knees can be down. Knees can be down. Inhale. You're going to shoot. Exhale. Lower to the mat. Full shallow bust with bullish Your locus. Inhale. Lift. Legs. Your little nuts arms, are going to be quaking. And then nose off the mat. And just look at the top of the mat. No further. <laughs> Hold for right here as we inhale, lift the arms. You're gonna shoot. Exhale to the howler. Inhale, lift the head, legs a little bit higher. Exhale into the howler. Inhale, lift both a bit higher. Exhale, hold. Inhale. Hands down underneath. Inhale, falls. Exhale, child's pose. Just sit. Arms back. Inhale, reach the hands up to the sky. Go safely with me on this one because we're fully instigated. Take the hands behind the back. Grab the fingertips over the buttocks. Draw the elbows together. Inhale, lift the heart. The heart up towards the sky, nose towards the sky. Draw the elbows together. Now breathe into that howler. Inhale, fill the belly. And exhale into a tone. Now, if you feel any discomfort, you pushed a bit too far. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach both hands up to the sky. Bring the knees together and we bow in and bring the chin in towards the chest and settle. And let the back rest. Just let it soften, let it rest. I'm going to go check settings, just in case we've had a, an interesting few moments. Good, I think you're all still muted. Good, have, if you're resting child's pose, enjoy the rest. We'll do some checks and balances. These interlopes are disaligning my chakras. Now music and gaming going on. Really, everybody? All right. Mm. Rachel Turnbull. Okay, let's get rid of that person then. Thanks, guys. Let's see if I can get rid. Thing is, when you lots of yoga students, you a gaming's boring. If we log out and go in again, it will restart the meeting with a different code. So. Let me Let's have a look. This Rachel Turnbull seems to have gone. Is it still in the background? Try logging out and moving again every time the speaker makes noise. I can't see you. Yeah, they're being a bit buggers, aren't they? I think they've gone. Have they gone? Like I say, if I log out, we'll lose the meeting and have a new... Well, this is the first. It's quite exciting. I'm sorry for you guys. I, what I'll do is I'll record this class and send you a copy of it. Um, maybe a cross pass another conversation. That would be... There's Jesse. Let Jesse in. Well, what I want to say, guys, is we carry on regardless. Um, if if they do jump up, 
listen to my voice. Let's not let them ruin our practice for us, guys. I think they've gone, haven't they? Think they've gone? They've gone. Yeah, I think they've gone. It's pretty hard to hear you when they're yet. They're not. Edward. Where are they? Wow. That's impressive. Right, so looks like we might have to change some some settings and stuff, guys, and, and redo some some new. I, what I'll do is I'll, I'll do a little checking process. Um, I've kept it all very open. Yeah, they seem to be gone. Let's get on with our practice. We've still got 25 minutes of grooving on the mat, okay? And I, I love the sequence. The sequence epic. I'm gonna have to stand up because my knees are aching from leaning towards the cameras. Everyone's knees aching. Yeah, let's take a downward dog and groove it on. But hey, it's exciting stuff. It gives it breaks up your day. On to all fours, everybody. Let us proceed with pride and power. I like it. Nothing. This, isn't this ironic? It's about finding your centre. We're too centred for them. They can do that in words. They want to shout nigger, they can shout it. It's a word. Exhale down the dog. I wish they got better swear words though. Oh, down the dog feels good. Let us be there in down the dog. Good. Bring the feet together. Let's raise right leg up to the sky for a nice bit of motion in our ocean. Good. Front the leg back down to the mat. Nice. Inhale, left leg up to the sky. Exhale, leg goes back down. Let's take some standing postures. Step forward with the right leg. I'll meet you there in high lunge. Niggers, Good. niggers, niggers, Look niggers. Look forward so the spine flatters out and you lighten the load on the front fingers. Inhale, peel yourself nigger, off nigger, the mat, nigger, put your hands nigger. up to the sky. Turn the heel down and open out the arms and settle back in. Are we all there? Can you all hear me? Are we all good? Yay, give me a warrior two. See, we're steady, we're yogis. Go pick on someone else who's going to get bothered. I love it. No, no N words. <laughs> Nipples. We'll cover it up with nipples. Inhale, we'll take our peaceful warrior. We're humble. I feel so. Let's have a little bit of empathy for the person who's needed to do that because their life must be pretty poop if disturbing the yoga class is as good as it gets to them. Point the finger down to the earth. Inhale, bring your arms back up to parallel, straight to the front leg. Turn the feet to face each other. Take the hands up to the sky. And because we're powerful people, we're not pulling the class line ropes. Turn the heels in and ease on down. Good. Inhale, reach the hands up to the sky. Turn to face the front of your mat. Take the hands down. Is that them there again? Is it? All the way down to mat. Inhale into plank. I can teach and talk at the same time. Professional here. Lower down to the mat. We'll take a little grounded vinyasa, forearms down, inhale, go into sphinx pose, draw the elbows towards the hips, bring the feet together, lift up what you've got, however you need to get there, take the buttocks as high as you can, a little forearm plank action, lower down to the mat, Show your I'm back in my sequence now, I'm happy, I think, good, lovely, we're, we're all, we're all good aren't we yeah inhale lift all the way up into all fours exhale rock back child's pose you won't work the knees inhale into all fours exhale take down the dog again steady and easy let's have a good three to five breath let's check back in with our center bend knees let's send some love out to this person I think it's a good idea, I like that. I'm going to send them some love. Last they may not want it, but they get in it. Stepping Last forward with the left leg. Your tits. High lunge. Last your tits, bitch. Look forward to lengthen the spine. Crown of head to heel. Peel Last yourself bitch. away from the earth. Flash your tits, bitch. As we take the arms up to the sky. Flash your tits, bitch. Flash your tits, bitch. 
open the arms out into warrior two. Just listen to my voice as they come up. We'll just we'll carry on regardless. Take left hand up to the sky. Reach on up. If I keep talking, we'll buzz them away. As we exhale, we'll go all the way down to the mat. Hand sandwich the front leg. Slide into plank. Lower the body. Sphinx pose. Inhale, lift the heart. Shut the fuck up, Neto. Exhale, lift the body, press into the forearms, find that bit of power. Adding oh, on where we were about to thing. go, before we had the exciting interruption. Lower down, chin to chest, forehead to mouth. Slide the arms by the side of you, bend the right knee, and we're going to press the right foot towards the sky and lift the arms up, doing up towards the full Dandalasana. Take the hands back underneath. Inhale all four. Exhale. Rock back child's pose. Inhaling into all four. Exhale. Downward dog. Ease it back. Enjoy that moment with downward dog. It always feels good. Inner thighs together. Loosen neck and shoulders. Two more breaths. And if you can, get that concentration on the hala. Fill the belly as you exhale. The base oh, is out tension. Inhale, step forward with the right leg. Place it down. Exhale, soften in. Look yes. forward. Oh, Inhale, peel away from the mat. Take the arms up to the sky. Okay, this is where I was going to go. Pointing right hand down by the right side of you. Reach the left hand high to the sky. Inhale, maybe taking a look up, but keep the fingers pointing north and south as if they're on a compass to keep you centered. Inhale, take right hand back up to the sky. Exhale, left hand points down by the side of the hip and we move down the other side. Balance is needed. So if we think into this, Inch below the hammer, we have the strength there. Yeah, there is someone still jumping on and off. Inhale, both hands up to the sky. And then exhale, hands down to the mat as we did before. Inhale into plan. Exhale, lower down. Forearms come down. Inhale into a cute little sphinx. Okay, this time. With care, tuck the toes under, bring the inner thighs together, full four, 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 four arm plank. Inhale, but this the arc right then, open all hours. Breathe here. Can we do this with toe knot tension at any time? Knees caress the mat. But I'd like you to feel where your powerhouse is, where your chi, your life force, all of, all of that stuff. Lower down to the mat. All the way down, forehead down, arms by the side. Bending left leg, inhale. Lift the arms, lift the head and press the foot towards the sky. Strong on the lower back. Nice. Hands back down, underneath the shoulders. Inhale, all four. Exhale, rock back, child's pose. Inhale, back to all four, so up. Standing north, south, lunge, exhale, down with dog. Elbow high to the sky. Again, let's come back to our center. One more breath in. Keep rooting those fingers down. Yes, please. Stepping forward, lefty leg this time. Plant it down. Look forward or press the crown of the head forward. Peel ourselves away from the mat. Think into that low chakra point. I hope you can look. Whether you can just keep listening to my voice, take the hands towards the sky. We won't let them bother. It's, they can, I think I know who it is. And I think what I need to do is. Oh, they keep going on and off. Take both hands up towards the sky. I'll keep teaching verbally. Point the left hand down by the side of you and the right hand points towards the sky. We're too good, we're yogis, I love this. 
and then take both hands up to the sky and swap it so right hand points down north and south inner strength what absolute yogis you are you're epic you're brilliant inhale take both hands up to the sky reach it on high good and then hands down to the mat all the way down inhale plank good lower down to the mat you've got this onto the forearms inhale into sphinx bring the heart through good take the head back down to the mat And then when you're ready, foot, tuck the toes under, squeeze the buttocks together, lift the thighs up. I like it. Mr. Mike Oxlong, come beat yogi power. Hold into the breath. Let's center ourselves in. We are epic. I love this lot. I love you lot. You're the best. You're the best. Hold it there. Find our center. We keep our center in all the storms. I think it's brilliant. Lower down to the mat. Good, guess what this time? Reach the arms behind, bend both legs. Look to see if you can find the ankles. If you can't, please don't get annoyed at it. If you have got the ankles, good. If not, press the feet up, lift the chest up, keep the inner thighs moving towards one another and breathe into your centering. I should check the knees on this one, a bit twangy. Ease back, hands down to the mat. Inhale with force, exhale, child's pose, end of sequence. We are the business. Take the knees a little wide in child's pose. Fill the belly and exhale into the belly. Hi Mike, you're back again. We're in child's pose. Come join us, Mike, Mr. Mike Oxlong. Diggly diggly dong dong. Go on, we ask you, put something rude on there. Give, give us women a bit of entertainment. Everyone else is looking down. I want to see what you got, baby. Ooh. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Inhale, back into all fours. Nice and steady. Then what we need to do, just keep listening to my voice. Back into downward dog. Nice and easy, squeezy down the dog. Head on the heels, up. And down. We're not going to do the forearm version today, we're saving that for the build up on Thursday and Friday. However, I'd like you to take the feet about hip distance apart and then, firming strongly, walk into your plank position. Good. Hold fire, press into the mat. We're taking three to five breaths here if the wrists are no likey, no likey. Forearms go down or knee goes down. Back to Africa. Great to send the ball that focus. Is there, however, maybe you think of feeling of a, a good building up of battery power in your core. Lovely. Knees go back down to the mat. Cross the ankles over. And I shall meet you in a seated pose of choice. Hi, Mike. He's back again. Hello, Mike. Hi, Mike. We like your music. It's really great. Thanks for joining us today. Could we see something naughty or rude? It'd be far more exciting. I don't know if I can actually... Uh... No, as soon as I go onto his box, he disappears off, Mr. Mike Oxy Boxy. Is he still... Can you still hear him, guys, when he comes on? Yeah. We'll keep going. We'll be good. We'll be good. I like it. It's adversity. Hey guys, have we not dealt with adversity in our lives? Yeah? I know every one of you in those boxes out there, every single one of you, fully respected women that I love dearly, yeah? This boy ain't got a clue. Ain't got a clue. No idea what he's dealing with. Sit nice and tall in your spine. Inhale, take the hands up towards the sky. Reach on up. Exhale, we're going to take a subtle twist around to the right. We normally do this at the beginning of the class. Take the hand onto the back of the spine. We're going to check the spine. We're going to take right nipple and then nose up to the sky. Just to ease it. So I want you to breathe here. Yeah? We've got a new one. Flash, flash your tits. Whoopee! <laughs> Love it. 
Oh, Sorry. Taking your twist nice and steady. Inhale, hands go back up to the side. My voice keeps going. Exhale, twist around to the other side. It ain't no doubt. Inhale, twist up to the sky. Reach your hands on up. Exhale. Take hands to prayer. Can you see they've called themselves flash your tits now? Can you all see that, everybody? On the screen. I know. It's quite funny. Everyone, if you're willing to, those who are on camera, Lou's doing it, I'm doing it. Flash them, ladies. Flash them. Yeah? We don't want mucking about, but we don't like the bad, bad words. Be more inventive. By the way, welcome to our yoga. Now get on your screen, get on your screen, come on, let's see what you've got. Yeah? Get the hell out of there was some proper women here. Oh, all of us. Mm -hmm. Fla flash yours. Oh, they've gone. Have they gone yet? Flash your bits. Anyway, guys, what I'm going to do is, as we've got an interlope in the class, there's no... I don't think uh, relaxation is going to be that easy if they keep coming on in. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to get us into relaxation, yeah, for the end of the class, laying down on the back. If they come up and they block over the screen, what I'll do is I'll leave you to do your own relaxation and I'll record this class and send it out free to everybody out there. And then we still get the class, don't we? You get double bonus, okay? However, we do always persevere. So, this is a lesson in concentration and we are smashing it. We rock. We rock. Thank you for the flashes in the house. That was great. That was so much fun, the flashing. I didn't go for the full flash. That's only for the boyfriend. Um, <laughs> thanks, guys. I think it's been great fun. We're putting this one out on YouTube. This could be legendary, couldn't it? Can you see us on one of those edit shows? It's all going, woohoo! And me talking about I like the idea of it. So let's lay down on our backs. Let's take our restful moment. And if I do see that box coming up again and it is disturbing a relaxation, I know, yeah, I know that you guys have got this. Remember our golden rule when it comes to our concentration or relaxation is when you want to get off the mat, all I ask is you take five more breaths. Okay, it's a wonderful rule to put in for Shavasana. Because hey, it's the hardest bit. So let's lay down on the mat. This is the Wednesday hump day class. So wrap yourself up warm, it's a little bit chilly. Yeah. Find your little calm place, second on in. Snuggle up where it feels good. And it's time to find our inner peace because as we begin to breathe naturally, just the natural breath, and put a little smile on your face. Just put that smile on your face and think what a good giggle uh, and it will be funny if it is funny to talk about. I like it. So bring your concentration in. I keep talking, you should keep talking. I think they've come back guys, so if you need to, you can turn your camera off, otherwise I'll continue with relaxation. Hey, whoever that is, come and relax with us. Do you know it's more good? Lay down, whoever it is. Guys, if you want to turn your cameras off and your, your videos off, totally respect that, but I will continue to the end of the class, always. So allow your breath to be natural, and allow each exhalation Here's what we you create your relaxation, just Help. letting it go. Be kind, make sure we don't leave one and minute. you are, and send them all we are trained in concentration. Send them all back this is what we do best. We all send them all back to Africa. Where Keep a smile on your face. We all allow the body to deeply back. relax. We all send them all back to Africa. And just like with any meditation, just not with any meditation, there's always a distraction around you. 
the noise, the doorbell, uh, a chap saying, flash your nipples. Yeah. With our meditation, we know that if we come inwards, center down, and relax in, we can always be the calm in the center of our world. There could be the storm going off around us. But if we focus on our breath and we relax in, we allow the ripples naturally smooth on out. And you, me, can get in place. Allow the breath to get a little bit longer on the exhalation. And then from our hearts, genuinely, if you can with me. Send love to our interloper. Send them a smile. Shut up! Thank them for giving us something to work towards our concentration. A way that, that we have strengthened without tension. Shut up, monkey bitch. How we've toned and rested. Shut up! Guys, I'm going to leave you here now. I'm going to leave you here now for five full breaths. I'll close the class off and as promised, beautiful people, I wish you all, including our interloper, peace, love and light, wherever you are. Thank you for the entertainment and this class will be available. It could be legendary. I love you all. Namaste. You fucking bitch.